Animal classification can be really confusing. For example, did you know that whip scorpions aren't scorpions, short-tailed whip scorpions aren't scorpions or whip scorpions, and micro whip scorpions aren't just really small whip scorpions? These names can get really confusing to keep track of, so we're just going to focus on the micro whip scorpion, or palpigrade. Palpigrati is a poorly understood order in the class Arachnida. Arachnida is a big group of animals that contains arachnids, animals that have a hard exoskeleton, two body parts, eight walking legs, and no antennae. Spiders, real scorpions, mites, ticks, and all the things I mentioned earlier are different types of arachnids. Palpigrati are little, pale arachnids that are all smaller than your pinky nail. They have no eyes, and many species have no lungs, either. Palpigrades have eight legs, like the other arachnids, but they use their front pair to feel around in front of them instead of for walking. One really noticeable feature is their long tail. It's covered in hairs that they use to feel for vibrations when they're digging around. They also will try to scare away predators with their tails when they feel threatened by raising it up in the air. We don't really know much more about their behavior than this use of their tails. Papagrades can be found on every continent except Antarctica. They live underground or in caves, which is why they can survive so well without eyes, and why they're really hard to find. Uh, there are two main groups of palpigrades called families, and there are only about 80 species known so far between these two groups. Scientists know so little about these tiny arachnids. The first study that looked at something other than morphology, or body parts, was published in 2013, and there haven't been very many others since then. This 2013 study saw that one species of pal palpigrade from Arda Ardovska cave in Slovakia eats cyanobacteria. Aside from this, the only other evidence we have of what they eat is a video where one captures a springtail, but the palpigrade didn't seem to actually be trying to hunt it. Some scientists think that they might be predators, like most of the other arachnids, but their mouth parts aren't shaped quite like the mouth parts of the rest of the arachnids. This means that we really don't know what all they eat. Scientists haven't even been able to see how they grow and develop after they hatch. Everything we know about how palpigrades grow and develop comes from finding wild ones at different developmental stages. Scientists have never actually seen any grow up like that in the lab. Scientists don't really know anything about how they mate either. Palpigrati is a really neat and really mysterious order of arachnids. There's so much research that still needs to be done to even begin to understand these tiny sightless animals. Right now, they're even more confusing than figuring out arachnid names.